evolution has shaped life across our planet. And since Charles Darwin, few have done more to link the mechanisms of ecology and evolution than this year's Crawford Laureate in Biosciences, Dolph Schluter. Ecology is really at the core of Darwin's theory of natural selection. But it has for long been unclear how ecology links to the evolution of new species. But what Dolph Schluter has done is that he has conducted very clever field studies and experiments showing that ecological processes, such as competition for resources, lead to the formation of new species. Even as a child, he loved nature, bringing home frogs and snakes. He decided to become a veterinarian, but was overwhelmed by a lecture about evolution. Soon, Dolph Schluter started a doctoral degree and was lucky to get Rosemary and Peter Grant as supervisors on the Galapagos Islands. Here, Dolph Schluter studied the same kind of finches that Charles Darwin described in his On the Origin of Species. One species of finch had come from South America. It diversified to more than a dozen species as it adapted to the different islands on the Galapagos. This is an example of adaptive radiation. As Dolph Schluter studied the finches' beaks and the seeds they ate, he could show how finches on the same island diverged in beak size and shape so there was less competition for food, illustrating how selection produces divergence on the same island. He showed that divergence not by natural selection can actually drive the evolution of new species, and we call that ecological speciation. Schluter really confirmed Darwin's thoughts in a very nice way. After this, Dolph Schluter wanted to see if what he observed on the Galapagos also happened in other organisms. The sticklebacks became his new favorite. They are mainly ocean living, but also colonize freshwater rivers and lakes, changing their size and many other traits. Dolph Schluter could see how, by and large, sticklebacks diversified into populations which could not reproduce with each other, that is, new species, just like the finches once did on the Galapagos. In collaboration with geneticists, he also showed how the same genes were involved in the repeated evolution of traits. For this, Dolph Schluter coined the expression parallel speciation. Now he became curious about the speed of evolution from marine to freshwater fish. Would it be possible to follow evolution in real time? He put the stickleback in ponds. Here he could study both which traits and which genetic variations were favorable when the marine stickleback adapted to fresh water. Surprisingly, even after just a few generations, he noticed evolution happening. And when predators were introduced, stickleback with more protective spines had more offspring. And soon, the stickleback all had bigger spines. So in the ponds, he could see that evolution was really fast. And of course, this kind of evolution is not uh, waiting for new mutations, but it's working on the variation that's already present in populations. These experiments, they were really very elegant. And today, there are many other studies by other scientists on other organisms where they try to repeat this in other species. And it has a relevance, in particular now when the climate is changing, because we need to know how species can adapt to a changing climate. Dolph Schluter has moved the forefront of research on evolution and he is a very worthy recipient of the Crawford Prize 2023. The Crawford Prize for 2023 in Biosciences of 6 million Swedish kroner is awarded to Dolph Schluter, 
The citation reads, for fundamental contributions to the understanding of adaptive radiation and ecological speciation. Well, it was quite a surprise. I was not expecting anything. First reaction, it's complete disbelief. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't completely eliminated my sense of disbelief. Um, but I do realize that uh, extraordinary honor has been bestowed upon me and that, um, that I must rise to the occasion. <laughs> but I have a lot of ideas still for um, experimental work, for future studies, and um, this is certainly motivation to, uh, to, to carry on with that, uh, with that work. What will I do with the money? I've decided that I don't want to live off it. Um, but that I will use it, I will direct it to certain useful um, uh, charities and, 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 and so on. I'll, I'll probably give most of it away. The Crawford Prize is awarded in partnership between the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences and the Crawford Foundation in Lund. The Academy is responsible for selecting the Crawford laureates.